Let's take a look at ordering fractions on a number line. This tool is good for developing the conceptual understanding that fractions are numbers, so they can be compared and ordered on a number line. When you open the tool you see a number line, with an arrow for adding ticks and one for deleting tick marks. Two buttons are located in the upper right. The plus button allows you to create fractions. The lock button allows you to drag and place them on the number line. There are two additional buttons here. The top button is used to show the decimal value once I have placed the fraction on the number line. The second shows the decimal value while I drag the fraction prior to placement. Let's create some fractions. Two fourths, click the plus button. Let's do another. Two sixths, add another fraction. Two eighths, are you noticing a pattern? Let's do one more. Two twelfths. So now each fraction has the same numerator, so I can just focus on the denominators in this lesson. I'll lock the fractions now. Before dragging the fractions to the number line, let's add tick marks as a visual to help students place the fractions more accurately. Point out that some of the denominators are quite large, so more tick marks may help us accurately place the fraction. Clicking the arrow to the right, we'll add the tick marks. If I move my cursor and then place it back on the arrow, it shows the number of divisions, in this case six. Let's do two-fourths. Notice the red bar as I drag it on the number line, showing the value. I can show students that two-fourths and one-half are equivalent fractions and the exact same point on the number line. Clicking the top button shows the decimal value. Two-sixths will be quite easy to place since my tick marks are every sixth. So I can count them one, two, and place the fraction here. Two-eighths may take a little more thought. Well, I know that eight-eighths is one whole, four-eighths is a half, so if I take half of that, I'll place it perhaps around here. Perhaps when we're doing two-twelfths, we should consider using benchmarks and ask students whether it's closer to one or zero. In this case, two-twelfths would be closer to zero. And as I think of one-twelfth, I can estimate that two-twelfths would go here, and actually it's the same as one-sixth. Clicking the Check Work button will give me feedback. Clicking the Reset button will allow you to do another example. You can see that using this tool, the number line tool, it can clearly help students develop a conceptual understanding that fractions are indeed numbers and they can be ordered and compared.